Alrighty, welcome once again to another vlog by Adam, your dog trainer. Today, I wanna to talk about what is the importance of having dog tags, rabi tags, and all the identifiers for your dog if they happen to get lost. So let's go ahead, dive right in, and I will see you on the other side. Say your dog does get loose. Um, they need to have some kind of identifier. I personally recommend microchipping your dog. That's kind of a more modern way to uh, pass on information. Now, if you live in a neighborhood like I do, which is very uh, urban, I have a lot of houses and apartment buildings in my neighborhood. So it makes a lot more sense for me to have a, a, a tag with my cell phone number. Now, I don't recommend ever putting your actual dog's name on your dog's tag. I know that sounds kind of weird, but most people put their name on the tag, but if your dog gets lost, one of the ways they use to identify your dog is they ask you to call your dog by their name. And if someone else is claiming your dog is theirs, this way you're able to say, oh, that's my dog, his name is Fido, and if I call him, he'll come to me before going to them, which are gonna call him obviously by a different name. So I usually recommend just putting a cell phone number uh, that's readily available, obviously, on your dog's tag. Now, what you can also put on there is their microchip number. This way someone can go into a computer and find out the information in regards to contact information. This way, there's no question about it that, that if they do happen to get caught by animal control uh, or your local shelter, they know your dog has a chip they know to scan it and they know how to get the information for you so you get your precious baby back as soon as possible. Now, what a lot of people do do is they also put uh, things on their collars, so phone numbers, names. Um, that's kind of a modern thing that people are doing. They're getting them embroidered on there. I really uh, think it's kind of a trendy thing. Let's say they pop that collar and they get loose. Well, now they don't have any identifiers uh, on them. So that's kind of an important thing to have is just a regular collar um, with a tag. Now, if they lose that, you're kind of SOL, as they say. Uh, lastly is the rabies tag. A rabies tag is a good thing to have in general. This way, if your dog does happen to get out of the backyard, people know your dog is actually being cared for by somebody else. And on top of that, they're very much going to be aware that they're under some sort of vet care and they've had shots in the past year. And that's usually pretty critical because if they've had shots in the past year, most likely, most likely they have been to a vet. Most likely they have had some sort of shots over the course of time. So it's critical that you have those two basic things, cell phone number on their tag and a rabies tag or identifier with a rabies number engraved on their tag along with a microchip number. All right, a lot of people have different issues with microchipping. I think it's a great thing to do for your dog. You should do it right when they get neutered or spayed. This way they're just, it's a simple shot uh, that they put in the underskin of your dog. It's the layer. There's a lot of fluid buildup between their, the under layer of their skin and the rest of their muscle structure. So they don't even feel it. Um, it is so good for your dog to have that and it keeps them safe. That's the important part, safety first. Alrighty, if you have any questions, please go ahead, hit me up. If this is your first time watching, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think. Go ahead, please give me a thumbs up. And once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.